The creative process is something that I have always struggled with, with content creation. And that's not for lack of ideas or lack of being able to create those ideas in a video, but actually feeling personally that they are good enough to be put out there and displayed as my work. And I feel like this is something that a lot of content creators struggle with. I'm sure it's not only me. I have many videos for YouTube that I had either filmed and not edited, filmed and started editing, or finished the edit, but have never been uploaded to YouTube. One of these being when I went away to the Murray for two weeks. I was gonna film a really nice edit full of cool shots and lots of action, lots of fun. I would've, I had him in my head, in my head, it was a really, really good looking video and would've killed it with my personal rating of my video. And I was also going to film a vlog and I did start filming both of these videos, but I never made them. A lot of people may find this weird, like, why would I go to the effort of bringing all my camera equipment away with me, filming, and then not doing anything with that footage? And this is kind of something hard to explain. I didn't like what I had filmed. I didn't like what the final product was going to be. It wasn't what I had envisioned in my head. It very well may have turned into a good video, but I j just knew that it wasn't going to live up to the expectations that I had of myself. And this, personally, is the hardest part of being a content creator, is believing in yourself and just doing it. Like, just making it and putting it out there. Done is better than perfection. It's something I try to do, but I really do struggle with it. And that's why sometimes with this YouTube business kind of stuff, I may just not upload. And it's not because I don't want to, it's because I don't feel like I'm good enough. I'm sure many of you have seen this video, but Peter McKinnon and Chris Howe, they uploaded half an hour of just them having a conversation about the creative process. If you haven't seen it, it's linked in the description. Highly recommend you check it out. Basically, they discussed how different ideas can yield different results. And sometimes when you spend days and days filming and creating this epic video, going somewhere amazing and just putting all, all your time and all your effort into that one video may not yield the same results as something that you only put, say, two or three hours into. And how maybe a video that you only spent four hours creating has a much better response than this one that you put all of your time and effort into. And you, you just sit there, because it has happened to me, you sit there and you're like, why? Why that one? Out of all the videos, why that one? And that's because it's not all about the production. I get very psyched out when I'm creating a video, mainly in editing, once I get to editing, I get psyched out of it because I go, oh, this isn't good enough, the B-roll isn't on point, uh, the structure of this video isn't quite right, there's not enough talking, there's too much talking, there's too much b-roll of me doing this certain thing and it's just too much information and I don't like it and I'm just gonna stop and I'm never gonna make this video. That happens a lot. My most successful videos I filmed and created in just a couple of hours. My most successful one is called Why We Drive. It didn't go viral but for the size of me at that time it felt like it was going viral. I posted it on Facebook and I had 300 likes on my Facebook page under my old name. So 300 likes and this video is now on 56,000 views. So 300 likes compared to 56,000 views, that's a fair bit. But I didn't like that video. I just uploaded it because Bailey was in it and I felt bad that he, he'd taken time out of his day to be in that video. I wasn't gonna make anything from it. So I, I still uploaded it and it got the best response I've ever had. I completely hate the production quality of that video. Let me just point out a few things in the video that I don't like. At the beginning, the color grading comes in before the actual shot comes in for like a frame. The audio quality is terrible. I don't like it one bit. The color grading is really off and just not right. I used warp stabilizer like I do in lots of my videos, but I didn't use it well because this was when I was just starting out. You can see in this shot, the roof of the car is all warped and all weird. And probably now, I wouldn't upload this video, but I should. And thank God I did, because it really helped me with motivation. And that sometimes the expectations that you set yourself are not very realistic. And you, you're pushing yourself too hard sometimes. Too hard and you, you just don't get it done. You need to get it done and out there, not 
antagonize over it and like be stressed that it's not good enough and people aren't going to like it because they probably will there will always be people that like your work and there will always be people that don't like your work and that's just something you have to deal with so that is all i have to say about this topic let me know what you think in the comments down below are you, are you the same as me or do you just think this is a really dumb thing to be talking about if you are the same as me and you have a way around this let me know below i'd love to hear it and i'd love to have chats to you guys and i want to set myself a goal right here i don't want to be wasting any more videos anymore if it's not quite to my expectations that I have in my head when I'm filming the video, I still want to get it out there. And that may even be this video right now because I was kind of put this all together really quick because I, I, was, I was just in the zone to get this video filmed and recorded for you guys to have a little bit of a discussion. So this is kind of a response to Peter and Chris's video because that video is what got me thinking about this in the first place and inspired me to to get this out there and just have a little chat to you guys so so yeah that's it and thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next video catch you guys there let's just end it with a clap Cup of coffee on the car floor, what's more?